we are back. It's been a minute, but we're back up in this thing. Okay, we have some catching up to do, but we're going to do it. We're going to look at a new couple called Anissa and Jeff. This woman waited the longest time that I've ever seen on Love After Lockup. She waited a whole 11 years, more than a decade, to marry this guy. Now, he kept getting out of prison in these 11 years, and he would just be, you know, uh, playing hide and seek with her. Now, he's going to get out again. She's bridal shopping. Has he proposed to her? Who knows? Is he going to show face this time? Who knows? Um, but she sure as heck is very, very ready. It's time for love after luck up, baby. Hi, let's get right on into it. So we have Anissa and Jeff. She's 51, an assembly worker, and he's 39. He is a felon who was in possession of so he got three years for that. We usually go for somebody that has a little bit more age to them. So this is what he wrote on this prison inmate pen pal situation. He wrote, I'm single and open-minded. I'm looking for love. I'm very romantic, but I'm even more genuine. Looks are meaningless to me. I desire a best friend, someone I can build a commitment with. I keep my circle small. Yes, this is my first time on any pen pal site. So if I end up getting into a relationship while being on this site, I'll take this ad down ASAP. Just out of respect, I'm loyal to a fault. And while being single, I consider myself an excellent conversationalist. I love country and rap music. I love snail mail. Handwritten notifications. Okay. Drawing up, drawing, drawing stuff. Just because I'm in here with nothing to do doesn't mean I'm in here doing nothing. I like that. I love pictures. I love deep talks. I want to be where I'm calling you every day, kicking it and seeing how your day is going. Let's fall in love. Talk soon. That That's no, that's a good description, though. That's a good uh, little profile he's got over there. So I went on a pen pal website and I came across this gorgeous man. I think this must have been 11 years ago. I'm not too sure. Because he doesn't look like that now from his mugshot that we just saw. Went in for right? Right. And then he got out and he went back in for yeah. So he went in first for the stuff and then he went in for that. So yeah. yeah. Pretty much been a cougar my whole entire life. I was married for 10 years. I was 29 and he was not. My ex-husband was a kind, good man, but mostly he was young and hot. So she was 29 and he was 19. And they were together for 10 years. So she would have been 39. She's now 51. So this is not her recent, recent run. I don't know how many men she's had. Um, I, I have no idea about that. Really. Okay, $9, engagement ring. Girl. But that's what the last guy spent on her. $9,000 engagement ring. Yeah. So we're going from $9,000 ring yeah. to a broke, broke, broke boy. First of all, you have to tell me, how, how did you guys get engaged? He is in prison. Oh. And First of all, you you have to tell me. You, she doesn't have to tell you anything, okay? These people are way too curious. Yes, I get get. You know, maybe this is this is. I'm part of the I don't like small talk gang, uh, group, um, organization. Okay, we don't like it. Okay, um, so maybe that's why. But I think I'm like, whoa, why do you need to know all that? That is none of your beeswax. Please leave me alone. Just show me what dresses you got and let me go. And he asked me over the phone. Okay, fine, yeah. fine, yeah. fine, okay. I'm yeah, if you ask these type of questions, be ready to receive any type of answer. 11 years to marry Jeff. What are you gonna do if you get here and he doesn't show up this time? Wait, is he not? Hey, 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 my friend, stop interfering with this thing that has nothing to do with you. Were you guys going to get married before and he didn't show up? Like, what's the situation? Yeah. Wow. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Like, what's the situation? First of all, you wouldn't catch me in a shop slipping talking about my whole entire life for people to hear that's number one i hear people doing this all the time on public transport as well like stuff that people should not they shouldn't even be talking about like serious stuff okay and they're like is it not incriminating like why are you telling me why are you telling all of us basically all this stuff why are we why are you saying it in such a loud manner that we would all hear it like what the heck is going on anyway that would be the first thing then the second thing would be if a person is like why so why the heck why why mm -mm. Nah, we're not talking to you. Yeah, there's been two times. Or are they cutting? Cut. Blah, if, or are they cutting her a check too? That's possible. Times that he hasn't shown up. Like about two times, I think she said. So what 
nice you think he's gonna show up this time? Good question there, Miss Haley. That he's gonna question. show up. That just blows. She's still talking. This girl is still talking. It's my mind. Wow. That I have that much faith in him. That she yeah. have that much. That's crazy. Like yeah. I'm sorry. I don't. I'm not calling you crazy. Yeah. There's definitely something fishy about this relationship. I can't imagine what my life would be like without him. You remember this? I waited 11 years to marry Jeff. Duh. Yeah, so that's what your life would look like without him. How your life has been looking all this, this time, all these 11 years. Yeah, that's how your life is going to look without him. You'll be fine. You'd be absolutely fine. Why are you running behind a guy who's stood you up like twice? When you're sitting here, oh, wishing, wondering, hoping, meanwhile, there's men just walking around left, right, and center, and you're waiting for this guy who's in prison. There are two times he was supposed to show up, he never showed up. He's not a this is her friend. This reminded me of that other couple whose name I kind of remember from the last time, last season, or we're still in the same season. I don't know what's going on. But in any case, um, yeah, the, the other guy who was very protective over that chain smoker woman, <laughs> Angela. Yeah, I don't remember what the friend's called. I think it's Tommy. He was very overprotective and actually in love with Angela and she was in love with the younger guy called Tony. That's what this reminds me of because she has a friend like that as well. I promise. Jeff was in solitary so he's all He thinks he's an imaginary boyfriend because like if he's really a boyfriend like where the heck is only he? Only allowed a phone call once a week. So he was in solitary confinement so he could only phone once a week. Well that's just great. What did he do to get in there? What the hell is that? Are you, Look at it. Are you crazy? I mean he could act talk. like somebody then change the day y'all get married. And you thing. could do that too. Kyle and I've known you forever. But the He's like, look, he could switch up on you. It's all fine and dandy and uh, rose petals and rainbows right now, but he could change up on you. And she's like, you could do the same, which to me is kind of indicating that, oh, maybe, perhaps, they've had a thing before or she knows that he likes her. I'm sure there's something like that going on because he just looks, he just has that look of, why him and not me? Why? Why? here all the time in the 11 years you've been crying about this inmate i have been here how the heck are you still wanting to be with an inmate damn dumbest thing you've ever done well i'll leave it at that i'll let him say it i won't say it i'll let him say it because this is this is crazy in anything <laughs> in any case um yeah this is another couple um i can see i can see the tony kind of vibes i can see him not showing up again or showing up eventually because it is going to get filmed and there is a check to get. So he probably was like, uh-uh. If we're not getting on to this season of Love After Lockup, I'll wait till another season of Love After Lockup. I'll show up. We're going to have a storyline. And I'm going to get me some money from these producers and stuff like that. In any case, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit the thumbs down by don't turn that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell. Watch it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. Daily-ish. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless. Mm -hmm.